All right, so if you don't know, we just recently unlocked Dark Aether for a second time here on my PlayStation account. And throughout that series, I was taking suggestions on what weapon you guys want me to get done and what map you want me to do it on, as well as some other miscellaneous challenges. And throughout that, I only had two things banned on what you could suggest, the ZRG and Outbreak. The reason why? Because I know you sickos are going to go through and try to find the worst weapon, the worst attachments, the worst map, and the worst challenges to make me as miserable as possible but today i'm gonna be doing it to myself as sort of a celebration for getting dark aether done because today we're gonna be heading into outbreak and getting our zrg dark aether yeah you heard that right i'm really gonna regret this all right so i figured i'd hop on here go ahead get into a game and just start it up but i didn't even have the zrg unlocked so what did i do did i go ahead and did i get like two long shots and 10 complete games in multiplayer no who wants to do that did i go and shoot off like 100 and something mangler arms with a sniper of course not you know what i did i bought a bundle sue me if we're going to be using the zrg it's going to look nice anyways this is the zrg we're going to be using uh what is this bundle called extended vacation so we're going to be using the zrg extended vacation here are the attachments that come with it the infantry stabilizer the ultralight barrel around speed mag drop shot wrap perfect for zombies and the SAS combat stock. So not great, not awful, just kind of right down the middle. We have this thing level one and absolutely no camos for it at all. So what we're going to be doing is hopping into Outbreak. I don't think we're going to be able to do it in one game. I don't think uh, we'll ever be able to get as much XP as uh, we'll need to do that, but I'm going to strictly play Outbreak to grind the camos for this. So Every single kill that we get with this thing is going to be in Outbreak, and I think it's going to make it so much more difficult, so much more slow, and so much more painful, and I feel like I'm already regretting even making this video. But before we go any further, uh, we do have a lot of DLC weapons to do, so if you guys want to leave, leave your suggestions, I'm going to go ahead and go through our DLC weapons here. If you don't want to see all this, you can go ahead and skip forward a little bit, and we'll get right into the game. So hopefully, if I remember, I'll put a comment there to make it a lot easier uh, for you guys to go ahead and leave suggestions, but go ahead and leave whatever challenge, whatever weapon. Happen. I don't care. We'll try it. If we can't get it done, then we can't get it done. Anyways, we're going to hop into Outbreak and I'm going to hate my life. All right, here we go. Flying on into Zoo as our first region here. And I think this is all going to be about trying to find a strategy. Like if I can get a nice region that has a good strat, we'll be golden. But there's our first confirmed kill with the ZRG. Let's get a few more. Oh, actually, if we can just sit back and snipe, if we can get the zombies to constantly spawn, we'll be good. So what events do we have here? We have the eliminate, the gold chest, and the black chest event, which is very good. Holy shit, zombie, get away. Hello? Sit. 100% accuracy with this thing so far. Let's go ahead and take a peek at this blueprint real quick. Elite, because that's what I am, an elite gamer. Pineapples on it just for aesthetics but i have no idea any kind of grinding methods in outbreak besides xp like i only play outbreak to get xp for these weapons that i i end up trying to get camos on so oh i need crits too I need to focus on those we need 2500 individual crits i should have went over the challenges before this 2500 individual crits 2500 individual kills 2500 pack-a-punch kills uh probably a lot of jackrabbits, a lot of three kills without getting hit, or three crits, like, rapidly. All, all I know is it's going to be awful. The whole challenge is going to be awful. But we're going to take this one shot at a time, because that's the only way we can. I think our best course of action here is try to get as many crits as possible. Oh, wait, and we're not even at a high enough level to get the crits. So I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe crits will give us more XP, though. We might as well just go for them. Get us into the habit of getting them. Oh, I say that as I don't get one, but uh, there's a black chest event right over here. I'm not going to do that yet. We'll wait. And I'll come back to it because those ones are usually pretty difficult to do. I want to at least get some money first. So let's go ahead and go to our eliminate event. And then I want to try to do the black chest before my double weapon XP runs out because I know how much XP I can get just from doing it. But we need to be set up. We need to play the smart. And I think for this video, I'll show you guys like me setting up, trying to figure everything out. And then I'm probably going to grind for a bit while I can watch uh, some TV or a video or something something because i know it's going to take hours upon hours to do but I'll, I'll i'll chime in every once in a while showing you guys what i'm up to there it is tell me who did it all right we need to avenge our fallen comrades by killing uh this elite over here and these zombies need to go they really need to get out of here okay what do we got tempest and manglers okay so destroy the armor on the mangler we can just shoot them from here Okay, never mind. They can run right up to us. And Tempest can teleport and shoot. Okay. All right. Calm down, guys. Calm down for a second here. I got very low health. Okay, this is a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. I can't even get past wave one here. I'm six health. If I have to use my self-revive this early. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We just got here. This is literally our first event. 
Tempest, you need to be dead right now. Got him. Oh, wait, I destroyed his bolt. I didn't know you could shoot those out of the air. I'm learning stuff today. I hardly ever see Tempest. The Tempests are weak. Oh, oh my God, this gun's awful. Watch this. Collided the Tempest. Get out of here. I'm a gamer. Where's the Mangler? Dome Dome gone. Next Mangler. Dome Dome. Broke his armor. Hit him again. Destroyed more armor. Oh, got to reload. Excuse me. Get back. Oh, I'm solo. I got to keep running. I got to keep running. L3 gen now. Thank you. Goodbye, Mangler. Let's go. And a random perk. Death perception. Okay. I mean, it could have been worse. Could have been better, though, is the thing. But we're level three. We're moving up in the world. And now we can just take our time getting these zombie kills. There's so many perks we need. First, we're going to need quick revive. Oh, our first camo. Stroke. We're already moving up. But quick revive is going to be a, a, a necessary a necessary perk to get. So I know we're going to be going down a lot. We also are going to need dead shot gonna help a lot with getting our headshots we need speed call because this thing reloads about as slow as i don't know a, a, a business week stamina up to be able to run away and aim down and still move fast enough not to get pelted and then jug so we can you take a few shots and not die like every single perk is so necessary here sometimes you can just grab like dead shot and whatever else and you're good not here not today we need to throw everything we got at it Oh, it's a mimic. Of course it is. Of course it is. The one chest we go for. Get away from me. Oh, we probably have to kill elites with this too. That's going to be another camo challenge. I really should have gone over the challenges first. But you guys get it. It's going to be a while. But now let's go do our black chest event. And the trick to this is doing one orb at a time. I'm going to try to activate an orb and then get as far away as possible. Actually, we have 5,000. I'm going to pack a punch this thing. I know we get a chalice from our event. Oh, wait. Maybe instead of pack a punch, we get a perk. Okay, we will we will save our money where we can. So I'm gonna go get dead shot to, just to make sure I'm not like wasting any ammo. Okay, there's dead shot, and then we will get pack a punch from a, that chalice. Oh, can you go ahead and open up? Another thing, I don't know how I'm gonna destroy these uh, orbs when it comes down to it. Okay, we're gonna start with the far away one right here. Gonna spawn in a bunch of zombies for us. The orb's gonna hit us a few times. That's fine. As long as we can train around these zombies, get a few kills here and there, we'll be all good. I probably should have waited until I had like Jug or something. It sucks that still only like in zombies, collats only go through the two zombies. So you can only collat a total of two zombies. No triple collats, no quadruples. It stops at two, which is ridiculous. Oh my God, so many zombies are spawning and I'm missing every shot. Okay, I'm going to use my Tesla Storm. I'm going to... Stay back a bit. Level five, let's go. We're unlocking attachments. We need to get to level 10. And once we're at level 10, crits are so important. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna try to hit the orb while it's flying real quick. I wanna see if I can do it. Oh wait, never mind. zombies are spawning. Get out of here, zombies. There's gotta be a cheese spot in Outbreak somewhere where like zombies pile up and can't get to you and the stuff that they throw can't hit you either. Okay, let's try to snipe the orb a bit. Get it low health for when we actually need to go destroy it when it stops spawning zombies. This one black chest event is going to take forever i will be doing this for 45 minutes i think especially if i'm trying to be careful and not go down all right orb it's your funeral i'm only doing 400 damage per shot with this thing oh still sniped it while i was moving who's this guy oh do we get it yes sir that's one orb down we're running low on ammo though so if a zombie wants to drop some ammo that would be pretty cool you can get some points here though with our tesla storm just running back and forth electrifying the zombies we get a few kills here as well we might have to go get ammo and come back i've never had to do that for one of these so add meal kick to the list of perks that we need oh max ammo let's go we don't need to leave okay and i'm starting to see that i don't need to fully scope in for dead shot to take effect i just kind of need to tap it and then shoot and i'll still hit so it makes my shots look so much better than they are. But it's literally all dead shot doing the work. Oh, wasteland camo, 50 crits. Our first crit camo in the books. Just 2,450 more. Oh, please don't kill me. One zombie, single zombie. Oh, what a shot. That was crazy. You see the tracking on that? Who is this guy? What level do I have to get this thing? 55? I'm going to freak out. Oh, he's crazy. I'm insane at sniping these orbs. Oh, never mind. Look away. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, I went down. That's not good. I just walked right into a rock as my Tesla storm went out. So I'm smart. I'm a genius. I go down again. It's over. So let's take out this orb and just get out of here. Come on. There we go. Got it. Let's go. 
Give me that chalice. Thank you for the armor. He will protect me for this whole thing. Actually, that could be the strat. Now that I have him protecting me. Oh, maybe it's only a one-time thing, but I should use that to my advantage and just try to be, uh, or try to get as many camos here and levels as I can before we move on to the next one. Maybe we should just stay in outbreak wave one because the zombies are only get faster and stronger and that's gonna be all like real bad for me holy shit there's a lot of zombies here i need to go get dead shot back before i even attempt to kill these guys is it raining on top of this why does the box look so weird dead shot is back we have quick revive we need jug and then we're gonna work on getting speed coal next why are you climbing that i'm right here still moving up in levels just hit 11 and glacier camo we're at 250 kills. Oh, extortion camo. Let's go. That's 50 pack punch kills. We're rapidly catching up to our crits. And level 12. Still making progress here. I think 12 levels in a game of Outbreak. Already really good. We probably would have gotten only 3 and 40 rounds of round base. All right, what's our event? Secure. Oh, the defend ones are going to be so awful. Same with holdout. I can't think of a single event that's going to be good for this thing. Okay, I guess we'll defend this one. We'll do this one first. Come on, zombies. Fill up the container without touching it. That would be uh, optimal. It says 75%. It's a little more. Oh, I got a Tesla storm. They got me hoarded. Okay, next. What do you got for me? No prize? Okay, cool. Get off of it right now. Okay, we're at 25% for this one. We should be able to get through it pretty easily. I'm throwing down a decoy just to be sure. I got one kill off that decoy and then I missed one bullet. I could hit that nuke, but that's not going to give me any XP or camos. Okay, we're at 50% on this. This is awful. I might have to C4 here. There. Just so I can reload. Is that it? Did we get it? We did. That C4 helped. Okay. Now that we have that done, uh, we should be able to go over to our anomaly, open it up, and we'll have our pack-a-punch there. We'll have our armor stand. We'll have just about everything that we need. So I'm going to go do that, see if we can upgrade this thing at all. Probably upgrade my armor first, because I know I'm going to be getting hit a lot, and this thing's already one-shotting anyways. So let's hit our anomaly. Let's go ahead, upgrade our armor to two, upgrade our gun to green, and let's go back to the Wonder Fizz. We need speed cola and mule kick. I think that's a good combo for now. And now I'm going to go look for uh, a place to go grind camos at. If I can't find a single place, I'll probably just be roaming around and I'll update you guys when we start unlocking things. All right. Well, I've wandered around. There's not really that many zombies spawning. I It's really, really barren out here. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next area. All right. Looks like we're getting Alpine. Uh, some good spawns that happen here is Orda, uh, especially with a sniper. If we can stay back at Orda, he can spawn zombies onto us like basically infinitely. Is he here? He is. Let's go. There's our boy Orda. I've never actually seen him spawn on this side. He's always on the other side of the, the hotel here. But let me take out a few more zombies before we go interact with him. Oh, I think he sees us. Okay, there you go. Shoot your hellhounds out. He's going to shoot a bunch of hellhounds first. Probably about like 20 of them. Good thing they don't hit the ground and start running. They just explode. So all I got to do is dodge them. And then here come the zombie spawns. Well, first let's shoot him and piss him off. Wait for it. There we go. Now he's pissed. Oh, he's critting now. Might as well get one good crit shot in on him. Never mind, I, I missed the one opportunity I had. And he's shooting more hellhounds. Cool. Just spawn zombies. That's all I want. What are you doing with those? Nothing. Dick all. Yeah, crit again. There you go. Asshole. Are you really not going to spawn zombies for me? You're just going to shoot hellhounds so I have to get closer to you? There you go. Now he's spawning zombies. Oh my god, this is awful. Why did I do this? For you guys. For you guys, I do this. Oh my lanta, get off me. Go away. Oh, he's going to hit me. Nope, we don't do those. Get back, dude. He's so much more aggressive in Outbreak. That was such an awful way to get camos. I can't believe I'm doing this. I regret this so much. There's degeneration. 250 pack a punch. We're so far away from getting anything done. I should have got this fully leveled first, but at least we're level 16 now. Right? Right? That has to mean something. Kill me. Okay, this might be the cheese spot. Just sit right here. Or it'll spawn some zombies in, but I don't think he can get to me right here. For whatever reason, his pathing doesn't allow him to go outside of that area. I kind of just have to back up a bit and let him spawn zombies. We might have found the, the, the cheese. We might have found the strat. We just walk up. We come up and hit him before he goes ahead and does that. Also, 250 crits. We got amphibian. Stop him from healing and come over here and try to stop me. Oh, this is perfect. We're not too far away from him. So he's not going to shoot hellhounds at us. At least I don't think so. But we can just still get kills. Actually, if he just goes to heal, I think if we shoot him off of it, he gets pissed. He'll hit the ground and spawn zombies. Okay, he's still just spawning in hellhounds though. So that theory's out. How many kills are we at total scoreboard? 581. Jeez. Some of those are C4 kills though. We have 320 crits. Is he all done spawning zombies? Do they have a fail safe for this? Stop healing, dickhead. 
I'm not done with you. I'm not done exploiting your spawn ability of zombies. Yeah, go ahead. Give me a crit spot. Thank you, idiot. This is your own fault, Orda. I didn't want to have to kill you. You're making me do this. All right, all right, all right. Listen, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You don't need to swing at me. Come on, what's with this hostility? We're boys. We go way back, Orda. There we go. Get out of here. You could have lived a lot longer, Orda. But now you're getting teabagged. Idiot. What else do we got? Black chest event, which is good. And a gold chest event. So I'm going to go do those and try to zone out. Ooh, level 20. Everything's going a lot slower now. I know for sure that double XP is gone. We've been recording for an hour 13 and put that into perspective with a normal weapon in round base. If it's fully leveled up, it would be dark aether by now. But we're, we're knocking on the door of level 20 with barely any camos right now. This is going to take a long, long time. Oh, got a grudge camo. I almost missed that. I was watching my video. I'd be going insane if I was doing nothing but just playing this. I had nothing playing in my ears. I'm catching up on YouTube drama. Okay, mimics are kind of scary. They are very fast and aggressive, which is the opposite thing you want when you're using ZRG, but we took them out. Okay, this disciple needs to go. Oh my God, if I can aim. Goodbye. Oh, a Decidence camo. Is that three or more crits or is that three elites or specials? Who cares? We got a camo and I think I said it right. So that's a double W. Oh, there we go. Bravado camo. That's six specials. And we took out a Mangler. That's progress to unlocking the ZRG. So we can actually use the real one once uh, we end up getting this camo and a level 22. All right, let's grab PhD, stamina up and tombstone. Why not? Tombstone's probably way better in Outbreak than it is in Round Base. A lot more space to get to your body. This Megaton's kind of blocking our area, pal. Ooh, just one shot at him. Oh, that one didn't. Let me get the headshot, though. Sleep and a level up. And a Funkadella camo. Okay, let's start this up. Where we need to go? Honestly, this could be a good one to farm some zombie kills on. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Because once we have the last canister, we can kind of just stand near where we need to put it in and just kill zombies until time's close to being up and then put it in. We don't have to, uh, you know, race the clock here and get it done. All right, let's load this one in. There we go. Let's go get the last one and just hang on to it. I'm going to pop my Tesla Storm and then grab it. So that way my movement speed's way faster than it would be without it. Then we'll just walk past these zombies. I'm going to get as far as I can before Tesla Storm runs out. There we go. And now we can take these guys out. And now this is what I was talking about. We can just hang on to this canister until about like, I don't know, 15 seconds left on our counter. And then we can put it in. I think zombies will just continue to spawn. Okay, so far, so good. We only have 20 seconds left here. So I'm going to try to get a few more crits. Oh, another level. With 15 seconds left, I'm going to pop the field upgrade from it and throw it in. We'll get the extra points from completing it. That's 5,000 points for completing the event with double points. Let's go. And then I'm going to probably roam around the map here for a minute. Last time the spawns dwindled out pretty quickly and it wasn't worth it. So we'll see how long it lasts here. And then I'll, I'll update you guys if we get anything. Oh, downfall camo, 750 kills while pack a bunch. Let's grab pack two on this because we're going to need it going forward and probably should just grab cryo now. All right, I'm not seeing very many zombies here. So I just went ahead and hit the anomaly. I grab my loose change per usual. But now it's probably a good time to check on my stats. Two worlds into it, 1,000 eliminations, 642 crits, zero revives one down we're doing pretty okay here i'm gonna get my armor full up i'm gonna get my gun to blue uh we already have as much pack bunch here as we can get we don't want to get elemental pop that's only gonna make crits that much slower for us as if they weren't slow enough but i th i think we're i think we're good here so let's go ahead and warp to the next area okay what is this uh what map is this? How do I not know? I wasn't looking. Definitely not Ruka, but we're on a, a new map. I actually like this map. I don't know the name of it, so uh, sue me. We have a black chest event. We have a dragon D's event and uh, an eliminate event. So let's just roam around and kill some zombies and uh, work on getting some camos. The thing we've been doing this whole time. This thing kind of chunks elite's health. That's the best thing about the ZRG is it's like an elite buster. Speaking of elites, we got our boutique camo for taking out uh, however much. I think it was like 12 or something. That's pretty cool. It was in the chest. A whole lot of nothing. What the hell? Oh, that's the portal for the Easter egg. That had me scared for a second. I thought that was going to be, uh, what's it called? Demented Echo. Jeez, why couldn't I think of the name? You know, let's just go through it. Why not? Uh, we have a holdout to do here. I didn't even look at that. Actually, the Dragon D's event is the worst event possible. It does spawn in zombies, which is cool. But if they're anywhere inside the circle, you can't get a crit for them. They go down to one HP and then get eaten. So I'm going to lead the zombies out of the circle and screw the dragon. If I'm not eaten, he's not eaten. Goodbye, dragon. Get out of here. 
Level 25. We're halfway there on levels. Oh, it's a mimic. Why it take that long to change? Still got one shot it though. Get teabagged. Actually, I think I found a strat to get more zombies to spawn. I'm just gonna run into buildings and run out. Usually when you run in, at least one or two zombies will spawn. As long as you like open a few doors, depending on the size of the building. But we can just go into a few houses, get these guys trained up, and then go for the kills that way. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for a minute. All right, that's enough house hunting for now. I'm gonna make my way over to this black chest event and continue to grind. If we're at 778 crits, amazingly. This has been two hours and we're like not even and halfway boundary camo 750 crits let's go oh i think we're out of the range of the orb so it's not even hitting us i remember somebody telling me that on stream that that was possible but i've actually never tried it it was the sauce the whole time oh am i at the perfect distance to not take damage from it that orb did nothing to me it just flew right at me and then flew away there we go all gone all right time to try the holdout i don't know how this is gonna go i feel like it's gonna go awfully and then i'll pack a bunch after i don't feel like doing it now all right i have to survive in here for three minutes with the zrg i think i can do it hopefully all right so far so good it looks like they're not spawning that many zombies at a time so i can kind of just like pace myself actually i could have just left that zombie and just trained for three minutes but that's boring we're getting a little more intense now but nothing we can't handle we've done worse round base would be infinitely worse right now and we actually have a decent amount of room to train here. So it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Goodbye, holdout round. Get ratioed. Ooh, level 29. Have we gotten 29 levels in this one outbreak game? Normally, not that groundbreaking. But with the ZRG, getting anything done with this thing is groundbreaking. All right, let's hit the anomaly and get out of here. I think I can pack three. I definitely can. Let's do that real quick. Uh, anything we can upgrade. Uh, we can repair our armor. We can get this thing to purple. Not quite gold yet. We're almost there. Not really. We have 36 out of 1,000 that we need. But our final stats for wave three here, 1,495 eliminations, 957 crits, still only one down. Let's go ahead and move on over to our next area. And I still can't buy a self-revive for those of you that are screaming in the comments. Here's Sanatorium. Uh-oh, the zombies got me pinned in the bathroom. Don't take that out of context. I'm Tesla storming out. Oh yeah, forgot to go over all the events here. We have a crystal event, eliminate event, and dragon Ds. So probably some of the worst for grinding oh bloodshed camo 1500 kills okay that's the, the our second to last kill camo we just need a thousand more kills and we'll be all set with that category but we have so many more crits to get we're actually almost at a thousand oh shit it's a demented echo holy fuck oh my god actually it's probably good that it blew up because it'll spawn more zombies for me to kill i was going through these houses trying to get zombies to spawn and i got a demon chasing after me no, I accidentally hit the random perk. All right, well, we got elemental pop now. Bye-bye crits. Oh, but we got level 30. Actually, the crystal event isn't that bad for grinding. It just sucks that you can't really get anything done while you do it. But if you start up the event, you can get some nice spawns. Let's start it up. Get all the zombies to spawn and I'll kill them at my, my own pace. Actually, so many zombies are spawning here. Maybe going to the roof was a good call. They all seem to just be climbing on up. As long as we don't get shatter blast. The one time I don't want it, please no. Oh, thank God. This crystal event's actually lasting forever. Maybe if I don't shoot any other crystals. Oh no, I spoke literally seconds too soon. I was gonna say, maybe if I don't shoot any other crystals, maybe they won't go away and zombies will just keep spawning, but no. I thought I found the sauce, but I didn't. Oh, we broke the threshold of a thousand crits. And just when I went to go check, a thousand sixty-nine crits. Don't even say anything. It's not funny. You're gross. Sex. Oh my god, how many mimics are we gonna find? All right, let's hit our anomaly and keep moving on. We're gonna grab the loose change. Can we make a self revive yet? We can. So I'll do that and then we'll start putting the rest of the salvage towards uh, getting this thing gold. We have it fully packed. Uh, ammo mod on it. Let's just leak. Let's just get out of here. Let's leave. Oh, Armada. This is not a good map for a sniper. I'll tell you what. Especially when they're spawning me on a boat. Oh my god, another mimic! Every chest I see is an actual mimic. Oh, drench camo, 1500 kills. Let's pack a punch. Let's go. This actually might be the end of our run here, or at least our first game's run. Because we have to do this, basically, the secure thing. Please don't be a mimic. I swear to God. Oh, thank God. Shatter Blast. I'm actually going to grab that for this. I can always change it out later. But th that sh ammo mod might be saving us here. But we're going to have to put the specimen head in that little area there. And that's already tough with like you know, normal guns. Just Armada is a very hard outbreak map. And now that these zombies are a lot faster, they're a lot stronger. And there's going to be a lot more of them when we hit it. I don't know if we can survive it. Because right now I'm struggling to even kill the zombies before grabbing it. It's such an awful weapon. Like round five outbreak is equivalent to like what? Round 40 something round base. 
Maybe around 50. Maybe it scales in tens. Because these zombies are pretty fast. All right, who is this? Just specimen. Okay, you don't have a name. Let's put them in. And hopefully we can survive this. I, I'm actually very scared here for the run to end. Oh, yeah, they're fast. I've still yet to hit a shot. There we go. Triple. Oh, jeez. They're coming from so many angles. I can't protect them all. I'm going to use Tesla Storm here. Oh, I can't aim. We're doing so much damage to it. I'm going to throw a decoy down. Maybe they'll go to it instead. Oh, brain rotted the disciple. That actually might help out a lot here. They've already done so much damage. I hear more things spawning. I'm just going to go ahead and toss a molly over here. Okay, we're doing good now. We can just get a few more brain rots. That would be swell. I got to throw a molly down. Oh, jeez. We got to take out these elites because they can just snipe it. Go get them, brain rot. These zombies are sprinting. Get away from me. I have no more decoys. So I guess it's Molotov time. 25 seconds to hold this thing down. And we have a Megaton. We have a fucking Megaton. Oh, you know what? RCXD. There we go. Big damage. Megaton just warped through the wall. 12 seconds left on this, though. The Megaton, I don't know what's doing. Okay. It was just invincible there for a second. Tesla Storm. Let's get in here and protect. If we keep him stunned for long enough, we'll be good. Oh, that was intense. That was intense. I can't believe we finished that. Okay, I'm actually going to get out of Armada. I'm going to a different map. I don't want this. I don't care if we have three events to do still. I'm just glad we got through that. Uh, actually, it'd be kind of a waste to not do them. I, I'd just be making it harder on myself. Even though this map is kind of difficult, it's only going to get worse like going forward on each individual map. So might as well just do it because look how fast these zombies are already. They're only going to get faster. Oh, level 33. I've hardly unlocked anything in like the last hour. It feels good just getting a weapon level at this point. I've been like painstakingly scraping and killing every zombie that I find. And we finally finished the black chest event. We're only like halfway there too, in terms of crits. I got to be breaking some kind of world record for using the ZRG, not only for this long, but getting this many kills in outbreak with it. I feel like nobody's like, hey, let's go use the ZRG in outbreak for a whole game. And try to get every single zombie kill in each round. And try to get a dark aether. Nobody's done that. And I don't blame them. They shouldn't. I shouldn't be doing this. This is awful. This is torture. But I guess uh, we're good to go ahead and warp. Unless I have enough to upgrade, I don't. So let's just repair. And warp on on. And warp on over to the next area. I can't even speak. Jeez. Oh, we got Ruka. First time we're seeing Ruka today. Whoa, whoa, what just happened? Hold on, hold on. Okay, it just came back. That was weird. I shot the mangler in the face and that happened. What? Okay, outbreak so bugged. What the hell? The mangler, I, I shot him in the face and I broke the space time continuum. Things aren't loading in now. You can see the render and draw distance like come like back into the to frame. I don't even know what I'm saying. You guys can see things like rendering in and like popping out. That was weird. Is that going to happen every time I shoot a mangler? Or was that one just, you know, energetically aligned? He was he was the son of Ruka. Oh, my God. These mimics got to stop. Oh, my God. I'm down. That is my first down in a bit. I'm going to tombstone shadow because there's no zombies around. Outbreak tombstone is actually kind of goaded because look at this. Nothing even near me. Like, this is a free revive. Oh, my. I just got melted. Let's bring right him. Just to help ease the pain. Oh, there's our threshold camo. We're still moving strong. But we have to get a thousand more crits from now. When we're at 2,546 crits, we'll be done with the ZRG. Hopefully. Holy shit, we have so much to do. All right, let's hit the anomaly and keep moving. We're still alive for now. I have no idea how. This has been the longest game of anything I've ever played, I think. We're, I think we're, we're approaching four and a half, five hours now. <sighs> I am not doing this again. Oh, there's our chemical camo. 2,500 pack-a-punch kills. All done in Outbreak. Finally done. Final kill was on this Panzer. He's going to get teabagged for it, idiot. We still have 700 crits to go. Kill me. Please. All right, time to do another holdout round. Our second one of this uh, journey so far. But now we're on round eight of Outbreak. So it's going to be a lot tougher. Oh, great. I think this area is going to be real tough to train in. As long as we just get a few crits here i'm fine mainly just wanna you know live if not i'm also fine i'm so down to just die 
and then take a break. I've been playing this game for too long. We're at five hours now. You want to know how long it takes to get the ZRG Dark Aether and Outbreak doing literally everything in here. Oh, please don't knock me. I'm not going down in here. What happens if I tombstone in here? Does it does it have the, the knowledge to put me in this building with tombstone? Or no? I feel like I would die with tombstone in here. So I don't even want to think about that. I'm just trying. I'm just training at this point. Unless I die. God damn. Okay, I'm just going to use my self revive. We still have our quick revive, which is good. Oh, and there's a Megaton. Perfect. You know exactly what I want to see here. The biggest mob in this game, basically. Oh, I need to kill a zombie to get up. I don't have my self revive. I don't have anything right now. I'm just going to run. Oh my God, climb. Holy shit, I'm dead. Our outbreak run dies like that? Okay, I said I wasn't going to be pissed, but I'm pissed. I'm mad. I, I need to show these stats right now. 3,066 kills in a game of outbreak. Insane. 1,896 crits in a single game of outbreak in 10 downs. <sighs> and just to prove to you guys that this was in a whole single game, I, I, I'm just going to show everything, everything that we unlocked right here. There's all our levels. We got quite a few actual levels. Battle press progress. Love to see it. And look, we started at level one with our ZRG. I'm going to hide my cam so you can see everything. Level one with the ZRG made it all the way up <sighs> to 38. We, ha we got our rotten camo, our bloodshed camo, grunge, glacier, all that good stuff. There's threshold. What's going on threshold? There is chemical. We got a few like challenges done. Holy shit. Look at this. We can just scroll, completely scroll. But we got really, really good progress there in one game of Outbreak. Five hours of my life just vanished and we didn't even get this thing done. But I, I'm taking the break for the night. We'll be back tomorrow, which will be like one second in the video. And we're going to keep doing this. The only kills we're going to get is going to be an outbreak. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds when we hop back into another game. All right. <clears throat> Day two. Let's continue this grind. And there's an Omega Chopper right there. And I want to wait until we at least get this thing pack a punch to go near it. So I want to be able to take that out, get some easy scrap to get this thing upgraded faster. All right. Now I think we're we're good enough to take down this chopper. Can we get a shot on it beforehand though? Before it starts flying? No. It's already in the air. Oh, we one shot at it. Oh, <laughs> dang. It hardly even got off the ground and we just slapped it. But we got so much free scrap from doing that. Just one bullet. Oh, clean. And we get a death machine. I think this time around while grinding this, I'm going to take my time on the first few regions because the zombies are very slow. They're very weak. And then I feel like we can get a lot more kills a lot more consistently. Because once we get to the point where we have to start two shotting zombies and they're sprinting at me while doing it, it just makes it so much more difficult. So I'm just going to wander around killing zombies for a bit. And level 40. 10 levels to go on this thing till we have all the camos ready to unlock. Jeez, we still need 10 levels. That's ridiculous. Oh, there's our growl camo. There we go. We can start getting kills rapidly. So we have a new camo to work on now. It's going to be a while till we finish off all these crits. Oh, there's our forecast camo. Almost done with all these. Oh, and scavenger. Oh, banished camo. Oh, is that all of our crits? We're done with crits completely. All we need is levels. I, I, every time we see banished, I never call it out because it's always when we get gold viper. It's always when we get like dark aether. It's always our last camo. Now we just need levels. I don't know how we're going to get another. How many levels do we need? Seven levels. Oh man. But we're all done with the, the grueling part. 2,500 crits all done and all done in outbreak. We just need to get to the point where we can get some jackrabbit metals. So... I'm going to try to fly through these events for some XP. All right, since we have all of our crits, I'm going to take out these zombies real quick, and I'm going to put Shatter Blast on here. Since we don't care about how we're getting the kills, we just need to get them with the ZRG. So let's get Shatter Blast and get Pack 2. Because now that we have Shatter Blast, we can just do one of these and get way more kills than we would have. Oh, Rising Tiger came. Okay, I think we're done with our kills rapidly now. All right, I got every event done here. We're basically just playing until we're level 50, so... I'm going to try to grind that all out and I'll see you guys when we get up there unless something crazy happens. What are you doing in the ground? Get out of the ground. Oh, we actually unlocked the CRG now. Let's go. Oh, all right. Well, that's our first down of this game, I think. Yep. Let's go ahead and tombstone. Hopefully Orda doesn't step on us while we're doing this, which is very close to him. So please, Orda. Thank you. I'm just trying to fight to get my last weapon level here. Oh, there we go. Got our zero G to level 50 by taking out a crawler. Now we just need jackrabbit metals. We need 20 of them. So I'm probably going to get away from Orda. Even though he does spawn in quite a bit of zombies, he does have the capability to hit me with those hellhounds or just with his like, you know, attacks and taking any kind of damage. Not good for a jackrabbit metal. 
Oh, we got a sharpshooter badge. That's 5,000 eliminations with this weapon. All of them in Outbreak. Oh, there's one Jackrabbit medal. That took forever. Trying to get Jackrabbits on Wave 7 on Outbreak? Not as easy as you'd think. It takes quite a bit. But we got our first camo, corrosion camo. We're making our way up. We're so close to getting this thing Dark Aether. I just want to be done. I've sunk another three and a half hours into this days of recording. Yesterday, it was like five hours. So I've been doing this for a total of seven hours of grinding the ZRG in Outbreak. Would not recommend grinding any weapon in Outbreak from level one to 50, especially the world's slowest. Oh, there's our Entropathy camo. I really hope we, we don't get all these and then I realize I'm missing something. I feel like there's no way. The amount of kills I've had to get with this thing, the amount of hours I've used it, if I don't get Dark Aether after this game, I, I quit. There's a sick from this distance. These zombies have no idea where I am. I can just rack up some easy kills on these guys without them touching me making the jackrabbits that much easier to get another jackrabbit medal moving closer is that another camo it is contamination oh there's our glitch camo we gotta be like one or two away this is taking forever all the zombies are so spaced out and i feel like every time i'm getting close to a jackrabbit i end up getting hit oh there's gold viper we did it i was so zoned in there I'm trying to just snipe some hellhounds from far away to avoid getting hit during this jackrabbit metal, but we did it. We got gold viper on the ZRG. We got dark aether on the ZRG, and I guess we got plague diamond on the ZRG strictly by playing outbreak. It took what? Our first game was eight waves of outbreak. That took probably like five hours, maybe a little more than that. This one has taken three hours and 46 minutes as I'm looking at it in seven waves. This has been a nightmare and a grueling experience, but I'm glad that it's done. Uh, I'm going to just exfil. I'm going to get out of here. I need to leave. I don't even care about anything else. Actually, maybe I'll repair my armor. Here we go. Armor is repaired and I am going to exfil. I'm going to go to the table here. I'm going to buy some Gersh's, buy some nades, and I'm leaving going on zombies oh you know what i could have done i could have just x filled early and then try to get jackrabbits that way i guess that would have been risky if i wouldn't have gotten the jackrabbits and then i would have had to leave the game and completely restart to get them more oh well we're making it through hopefully we can escape if not i'm not gonna be mad about it because we got dark aether we have the zrg completely done playing only outbreak who's who's done that nobody i don't even know why i did it this is just for you guys for your viewing pleasure of me just getting annihilated mentally playing this game we're at the expel site we need to eliminate 23 hostiles say less getting the gershes actually we have more we have even more shout out mule kick for letting us have four gershes go down for the price of two kind of insane we're gonna tesla storm here tesla storm right up on these megatons might as well start nading we have phd i'm using everything at my disposal and by everything i mean everything get death machined tempest you can leave other tempest you can also leave who's left who's last Oh, nobody. We're out. I gotta be holding the ZRG as we get in the heli. Let's go. Get me out of here. Hard day's work. That That's that's cutting it. That, that's, that's putting it lightly. This has been a hard two days of work. Holy shit. We're finally done. What is our final stats? 2,665 eliminations, 1,340 crits, and I went down once that game. Our last one, I think we went down like 10 times. And as you can see, we unlocked all that in a game. We went from level 39 all the way to 51. Got all these camos in it, including gold viper right here. Oh, I'm so done. A hard day's work. Complete five objectives and exfil successfully. Damn, I, I should be on a calling card for getting this thing done. Anyways, let's take a look at what the ZRG looks like with these mastery camos. Here is gold viper on it. And yeah, that's actually pretty good coverage, honestly. The secondary colors on it makes sense not too much of just matte black but not too much gold viper either it looks pretty good like diamond looks amazing coverage on it is great very nice and then dark aether on it looks very good as well let's go ahead and check out what this looks like in game and then i can finally put this video to rest all right after two whole days of my life this is what the zrg looks like with dark aether and we finally have completed the most grueling antagonizing challenge of my cod career so far oh my god I, I i can't express how awful it was but the gun looks good i mean that's cool we definitely could have got this done in like a few hours on on round base and not like a whole day but there you have it that's the zrg oh i'm i i, I i'm satisfied that i'm done but I, it was definitely not worth it hopefully you guys do enjoy the video and it, it, if that doesn't deserve a like i don't know what does or even a subscribe if you're not. But I am so done with recording this video. So I'm going to end it here. If you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please hit subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. I can't even speak anymore. Uh, make sure 
you leave your suggestions of what weapon you want to see me do next and whatever challenge i'll try it out try not to make it as long as this because if we're doing that we're gonna have one video a week but that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later